Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, April 18th, 2012, and I'm Darko. One day before the blood sacrifice begins for this spring, tomorrow, April 19th. I'll get to that to, at the end of the video briefly. But, uh, so yeah, I was going to try to start uh, the video with Tupac and basically show Project Bluebeam in display for the sheeple, preparing them, conditioning them mentally, psychologically, whatever. Um, for what it's coming as far as the big show goes but uh, you know I knew I should have cut it out and I didn't and the video was the video the end product that I made was actually blocked worldwide so there's a good chance or at least a decent chance of my account ddarko2012 being actually suspended or closed I try to delete the video as soon as possible but it's just like I'll put the link in there you guys can go check it out Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, April 18th, 2012, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com and ddarko2012 Dark, D in 2013 on my YouTube channels. Okay, so I'm starting off uh, with some holographic technology that uh, basically the powers that be are showing you. Um, first we had, of course, the Norway swirls, and then it was, uh, what? We also had this, lost civilization appears above Chinese river. Of course, it was attributed to, what, a mirage. Well, they're just testing the public to see how they react to this stuff. Um, you know, busting out this holographic Tupac, uh, you know, this video will probably be banned around the world just because of that song, so I'll probably have to go back and re-edit it, but I just wanted to put it out there in case you didn't see it and try to uh, basically tie it in. Uh, this actually was this video no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated. So there you go. Uh, okay, moving on here. I don't know if you remember this, Project Bluebeam. Just give you some a quick background, but uh, basically another journalist uh, who was researching Project Bluebeam died of a, quote, heart attack. That's right, they do have these weapons uh, to cause heart attacks. They're just simple microwaves that's been tested by governments. It says here, within weeks of each other, although near, uh, neither have a history of heart disease. So he was in Canada. But uh, it basically, basically goes on there, and he says, in an article that was presented by Serge in 1994 to the Canadian Free Press of Quebec, so what are the reasons uh, for Project Bluebeam? Well, or similar type, whatever they're, they're calling it, this technology is what? Engineering earthquakes and uh, hoax discoveries. So, you know, if you want to call it a conspiracy, I've used this reference before, but it was actually um, brought up by the government themselves in their own documents about creating earthquakes and stuff as a, as a weapon, a weather weapon. And nobody will know who caused it. And of course, that ties in with HARP. So besides the artificially created earthquakes at certain locations, uh, supposed new discoveries are going to explain to all people the error of their fundamental religious doctrines. And many of them were created by these same uh, entities or groups. It says here, the falsification of this information will be used to make all nations believe that their religious doctrines have been misunderstood for centuries and misinterpreted psychological preparations, of course, by our experts, the psychiatrists and that, uh, for that first step have already been implementing that uh, type of doctrine or uh, basically it's called um, predictive programming they're they're planting the seeds in people's um subconscious for what's to come uh they usually do through the media and movies uh some of the examples they, they gave was 2001 space odyssey the star trek series and independence day all of which deal with invasions from space and the coming together of all nations to repel the invaders so and it goes on the film jurassic park deals with theories of evolution and claims god's words are lies so, and this is what we're going to start seeing now, is um, we've actually seen this with the government, uh, you know, talking about uh, the, how they're preparing. I just showed that in the video in the past couple of weeks, how the government is actually preparing for um, a possible alien invasion. They say that, oh, they're going to be far superior to us, and uh, we're, going to, we're going to need to band together as a planet. So, be wary when you start hearing that stuff. There are two different aspects of step two. The first is the space show. Uh, where does the space show come from? The space show, the holographic images will be used in a simulation of the ending uh, during which all nations will be shown scenes that will be fulfillment of which they desire to verify the prophecies and adversary events, i.e. 
uh, Allah, for Muslims, GAC, for Christians, Buddha, for Buddhists. So says these will be projected from satellites onto the sodium layer about 60 miles above the earth. Of course, they're spraying all kinds of aluminum, basically metal salt particles or uh, barium, aluminum oxides, different types already uh, high up there. And they're beaming and pulsing the ionosphere with energy uh, from the ground. We see tests every once in a while, but they're called UFOs and flying saucers, right? Just like this crap. And there's a new game coming out in almost a month, which is Battleship 2012. And it's going to be about survival. It's a superior force. Well, I wonder what that is. Well, it's about aliens. So aliens are being incorporated into everything. Human-made earthquakes reported in central U.S. No, this is not due to heart. This is due to fracking. At least that's what they're telling us, right? So um, they're saying it's due to oil and gas drillers disposing of wastewater underground. But then we'll go on and tell you there is no link. Moving on here, we have I have a lot of interesting uh, news to get to. Uh, headlines and links will be in YouTube's video description. New Zealand researchers predict brothels will offer robot prostitutes by 2050. So thing will offer clean, guilt-free sex, say researchers. And actually, there's a Star Trek episode for that. There's one for everything. It's called I think Mud's Women or something like that. But uh, you know, this that's that's part of the agenda which is to break up families break up bonds between uh, humans and relationships and whatnot and that's why people are putting off marriage and having children all together so there's uh, i mean most people are already ready for this and as far as guilt-free sex goes you know i guess it would be sex that you're not supposed to be doing but uh, i guess it depends on your belief system or whatnot so this came in from a viewer uh fluid i can't even pronounce this but uh fluid dime begins direct service to customers in china so it goes on and it says it will improve services to chinese customers and it goes on and it basically says back in 2011 of january that these uh, chips are going to revolutionize gene studies it says uh, what it did for uh, revolutionizing electronics making computations faster and cheaper it will do the same for drug discovery of course we're talking about the bad pharma type drugs um, that actually do more harm than good prenatal testing they're talking about getting into that eugenic stuff i'll actually cover that in this video and uh in other genetic applications which could, could be used for making clones and whatnot it says here that these chips have shown promise for developing less invasive forms of prenatal testing for instance by screening uh, the minute quantities of a fetus dna found in the mother's blood it goes on and says that fluid dimes customers primarily universities national labs of course right that's who's uh, uh, responsible for spraying you and carrying out all this uh, these hyped harp type pulsing of microwaves on you it says here seed companies i.e monsanto fish and game managers which uh, do a lot of eugenics uh, you know calling and stuff like that or creating um uh, what's a GMO sa uh, salmon now? So, and of course, the drug makers. And speaking of the drug uh, cartel or drug complex, they call it healthcare, but you can call it death care. DIY drug stores in development at the University of Glasgow. So, a new 3D printing process developed at the university could revolution. Oh, here we go again. Revolutionize the way scientists and uh, doctors or eugenicists and even the general public, i.e. the sheep will create chemical products. So it goes on and it basically says that um, you could actually create medicine at home, but God forbid if you try to grow some plants, uh, maybe to help one of your family members who have cancer due to, well, the eugenicists that are in the eugenics that are being carried out by them. You're gonna get SWAT team, you're gonna get raided, and you're gonna get thrown in prison. But hey, if you wanna make pharmaceutical type chemical synthetic drugs, go right ahead. Just don't uh, encroach on the pharmaceutical complexes uh, market shares, I guess you can call it. Autism linked to industrial food, toxic chemicals. So it says a new study uh, basically found the rise in autism in the US could be linked to industrial food systems, especially high fructose corn syrup. And uh, yeah, well, that's, 
I think it's known to have like a derivative, or it is a derivative of mercury. So uh, the same substance that's used in a lot of vaccines as a preservative known as thimerosal. So yeah, the processed food that most of us are eating, what what is it? Uh, it causes us to be mineral deficient, and it says it could have an impact on the human body and how it rids itself of common toxic chemicals like mercury and pesticides. Then we have this methanol toxicity from aspartame uh, may cause autism, uh, spina bifida, and preterm delivery, and more. It's from the Arizona State University, and it basically goes on, and it says that that it appears to be responsible for cancer as well. Next up, we have autism linked to maternal obesity. Autism linked to maternal obesity. Check this out. Because we have more obesity? Well, it, it's not clear. It, you know, it could be that some of the factors driving obesity are also driving autism. I mean, it, it, it could be that there's no connection at all. 80% of the mothers here with autistic children weren't obese at all. So there actually isn't a link between autism and maternal obesity. But they're going to make you or have you believe that. Why? Babies treated in the womb for obesity. Again, this goes back back to eugenics. So overweight mothers to be uh, getting diabetes pill to cut the risk of having a fat child. So again, it's not so much that it's in the food or our lifestyle. It's, uh, you know, people are smashed in the cities right now that are not most of them aren't in the rural areas anymore eating re regular food you know raw food and stuff like that and so what they're gonna get fatter but uh, they're gonna say that it's your genes you have bad genes so so speaking of the douchebag experts as i like to call them u.s teen births at record low but still shockingly high says a study shows abstinence only sex education and recession have little impact so the eugenicist goes on to say that the data shows that the expanded access to family services, i.e. Planned Parenthood, i.e. abortions, uh, sterilizations, uh, uh, contraceptives and whatnot, and birth control pills through Medicaid and reduced welfare benefits has statistically relevant impact on lowered rates. But researchers in another study say abstinence education reduces teen sex rates, study shows. So remember, uh, he was saying that it had nothing to do with the economy. Well, the rising cost of having a child costs more, right? It's supposed to. You think that's by accident, coincidence? No. U.S. birth rate decline linked to recession, says a poll. Fertility rate reaches 25-year low, says a new report from April 18th. You think that's by mistake? No. They're done. They gave you a little cash. They gave you a little freedom for a little while there, and they're done. They're taking away your freedom. They're taking away your cash, and they're taking away your ability to procreate because you can't be trusted to procreate. So another eugenicist in India where they're actually paying people to be sterilized uh, in the form of giving them a little smart car, teenage births are unfair on the baby. It goes on and says, according to family planning experts, says that children need to be planned. She also says the argument that it is some girl's way of gaining status does not hold water. Well, she should be working in Uzbekistan where the governments are forcibly sterilizing women who have more children. These are Sorry, they're the same experts that advise fluoridation of toothpaste use in children and in the water. Actually, a minimum of 1,000 parts per million. They also advise treating depression with electrodes inside the brain. So instead of fighting through this brainwashing, right, that's forced on you, uh, no, you got to get shocked, right? you got to get shocked because you're a bad slave and you don't like your enslavement. Again, just like euthanasia, wait till they start enforcing that stuff on you. Six-year-old's lemonade stand raises $10,000 for dad's cancer treat. Don't mean to spoil this, but look at all these great story. Boys going up right, good for them. So apparently all those children who had their lemonade stands in the past shut down to do lack of permits should have just used cancer as a reason. It's in the food, it's lack of nutrition. It's not lack of radiation and chemotherapy. Major groups says government diluted fiberglass cancer result. And when you get a big fat cancerous tumor from that cell phone, hey, there's a vaccine for that. And you've been warned April 19th, tomorrow to May 1st, is a blood sacrifice to the beast relating to fire. Stories of parents being killed, which induces trauma and fear, which is sucked up by these people like a black magic where they're digging up infants. And since I have an extra 30 seconds due to my video being blocked, I just want to give a little shout out to those little creep scumbag losers. I call them scum shits. They're shitbag scumbag losers who like to spy on good people who like telling the truth. You're a loser, you're going to rot in hell along with your masters. You're not going to win, you're not going to lose. So, thank you and God bless.